Yes. We got nothing to worry about. With E-Trade from Morgan Stanley, we're ready for whatever gets served up. Dude, you got to work on your trash talk. I'd rather work on saving for retirement. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute, right? I love those little kids. That is just one of the many commercials that we got to enjoy during the Super Bowl. The commercials certainly have become part of the show, a reason that many people watch. Yeah, it's obviously always a big topic of conversation. There were a lot of movie trailers tonight. A few funny moments, the Dunkin' Donuts was commercial so had us, or I guess it would be <laughs> Dunkin' Coffee. Excuse me, that was such a favorite one. Uh, I really enjoyed the Uber Eats commercial. Let's take a look. Thank you. I didn't know you could get all the stuff on Uber Eats. Yeah. Gotta remember that. Well, you know what they say, in order to remember something, you gotta forget something else. Make a little room. And that's how I remember Uber Eats has coffee, by forgetting something else. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> A what? Remember when you used to be a pepper lady? Wasn't it the cinnamon sisters? Basil babes? Paprika girls? No, that's absurd. Jen! Hey! <laughs> uh, oh. oh! Um. Okay. Have we met? Did someone doodle on my face? I'm so glad I remembered Uber Eats has office supplies, but I feel like I forgot something. Yeah. There's peanuts and peanut butter? It's not coming off! Oh, it's the primary ingredient. Give me a hint. Worked together for 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. You were great. You still don't know, do you? I don't. Right. Like, I forget 10 years of my life. I hate this town. <laughs> So I gotta tell you, one of our producers, Dago Cordova, I sent this one to him and I said, hey, this is my favorite. And he replied, really? Yeah. He was like upset that I liked that commercial. I thought it, it was great. Odd. Because it, well, I thought it was great because it spanned generations, right? You had Jelly Roll, you had David Beckham, you obviously had the Friends references there. Uh, I thought it was one of my favorites of the night. Well, good. I like that. I <laughs> Karen's like, like, I didn't like it. I didn't like watching it. What is going on here? Okay, so I like the Reese's one. So here we go. We're making a big change to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. No! 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 We're adding a delicious layer of caramel. Yes! 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 I love caramel! Yes! 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 But we're only making a few of them. No! A few million. Yes! Wait, are you still selling the regular cups? Yup. Yes! Okay, I just love it because it was so stupid. <laughs> I love it because it's so extreme, right? I love it when people just do crazy stuff like that. It yeah. makes me laugh. No, I like that. That was certainly certainly one of the best of them. Yeah, super easy, right? Yeah. All right, let's talk a little bit more about these Super Bowl commercials. Joining us now is Darren Dubersmith. He's a marketing senior lecturer at MSU Denver. Darren, first of all, thank you so much for being here. You know, we used to see Super Bowl commercials for the first time during the game. Now they're released in the week leading up to Sunday. Has that made it less exciting for viewers and fans in your opinion I think it has but I think it's necessary because the, the you know the brands have to do testing they got to make sure what work use the commercials that they preview uh, sometimes they do teasers you know they want to get millions of clicks before the game even starts and of course they want to get the free publicity from the media so uh, there's a lot of reasons why they have to drop these uh, commercials early. It's taken a little bit out of the fun, but I don't think that many people really preview the commercials. I mean, they, uh, you know, I, I think we sort of wait for the, the game and then we, we, we watch them after the hype and then we we do a lot of watching afterward i know my class is going to be watching these <laughs> yeah for sure you know it didn't seem like we saw any car companies this go around why do you think they skipped this time that's a, a real big story uh, and we expected that frankly that the evs aren't selling very well i mean those uh, it uh, it's, it hasn't been a good run for them they're losing billions of dollars the american car companies and so they were expected to completely skip this year seven million dollars a slot for 30 seconds run usually 60 seconds so you're talking about 14 million dollars a pop um, for for vehicles that really aren't aren't selling well so i think we only saw one ev commercial the entire evening and certainly not the big detroit auto companies that you usually uh, see advertising yeah certainly a pretty penny to uh to have your commercial in the super bowl Darren, what types of companies do benefit from these ads given the fact that there is so much expense Big mass market brands, brands that can afford to do it, brands that can afford to run lots of commercials before and after the Super Bowl and throughout the year. You don't want to blow your entire budget on, on one or two ads, and some companies uh, do that almost every year. So it has to be a brand that's well known, and it's a really good time for a mass market brand to remind the general public. You mentioned uh, ads that, that go across. It's very important uh, when you're reaching 115, 120 million people that your ads do span generations. 
And so, you know, it, it's it's important to make sure that that uh, you're not targeting, you're not getting too nichey, you're not uh, appealing to negative emotions, and you're just sticking to your your position in the marketplace, your core message. And I think that that's what a lot of companies did this year. So, what do you think makes a successful ad? Brand recall is the main thing. You have to remember the brand. If the ad was funny or you remembered the seven or eight celebrities that they dumped into the ad, and that's becoming a problem, the celebrity soup that we're, that we're seeing <laughs> these days, um, yeah, it's hard to make a connection with a celebrity when there's so many of them and so many of them appearing in a single ad. And so you don't want to overuse celebrities, and, and you want to make sure that the humor and the, that doesn't get in the way of the brand and it doesn't get in the way of the message. You know, what is the message? For Reese's, which was the ad that you liked, uh, they were talking about a, a new a new product, which was the caramel on top. And of course, they reminded you that the old product was still available. Very clever ad. Yeah. Darren, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us tonight. I know you said your wife is a, a Chiefs fan, so I imagine there's Always some celebrating Go Chiefs. going on at the house. <laughs> Enjoy this one. Tell her we say congrats.